All right, here we go, man. Another episode of Rockstar Reactions right here on Smut Free TV. It's your host, Rockstar2800, the most hated, the most underrated, the most opinionated. You know the rest. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe right now to this channel. Become a member. Also, follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know, we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap. Let's get into it, man. Rockstar Reacts. Quilly. Rapper Quilly from Philly vouches that Loose Cannon extorted Meek Mill, or he believes that he extorted. But check this out, man. I, I, it, they're going on a Meek Mill smut campaign right now from academics to all these rappers coming out. Dean, or well, his close homeboys, Dean, Quilly. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of rumors over this Diddy stuff. Meek is getting it from all angles right now. Meek Mill needs help. You understand me? Because it's ugly out here on these internet streets, man. These cats is smut meat, and they trying to ruin meat. So let's get into it. Let's see what Quilly got to say about Loose Coochie. You know what I'm saying? He believed that Loose Coochie extorted, really extorted Meek Mill. This is right here on the Adam and Wax show. Let's get into it right now. When you interviewed the ball, that said he took a 50 ball from Cuz. From oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that story, right? You gotta understand. This is a whole nother coast. So it didn't reach over there yet. Oh like now that I'm up here, and it, like it's gonna you see how yeah. you only gotta uh it, it didn't go that crazy. Like people don't know too much about what his name is. Gotcha. Uh loose cannon. Loose cannon. I'm okay. very unsure. His name loose coochie, and people don't know too much. People don't need to know too much. It's all lies, brother. But if you want to vouch for this, I'm going to hear you out. Let me hear you. I believe Shut that story is. Well, that yeah. definitely happened. You a white Very boy. You ain't in a story. You ain't in a, no, why no, why no, is this strange? I believe it. Look, look, look. Hold Rick, on. Rick Ross wait, wait, paying up. 50 grand to no, no, save no. Meek Mill. He said cashed him out of 50 more. Bro, right. you know how many yeah. people we didn't did did call in the studio? He gave it to him himself. Hold off. Yeah. You know how many Luke people we didn't call in the studio or in the club? 40, 50. I didn't seen a quarter. 100. What? For what? For what? Do you ain't. To just not get beat up or something? What? You got Listen, imagine in. you looking out. Look, look you in the club. I don't think Meek Mill's doing that. Hold on. Imagine think. you in the club. <laughs> Adam ain't buying it, man. Adam is not buying it. He's seeing right through this narrative builder, this narrative creator of a crater face himself. You know what I'm saying? So Adam ain't buying it. Quilly just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Whack through some little chili. Come up here and talk about me bad. But let's get into it. The club, right? You're in the club, if you ain't and you party with your people. It. And a dude come to a whisper, and you be like, "Listen, bro, we about fifty deep up in here. We need this. We gonna start it in here. We got the parking lot locked down, and we gonna tear this motherfucker up." And he lean back and shake your hand. Hmm. I'm gonna say you're gonna have to kill me. I ain't doing you're shit. You're lying. Your white ass cold. First, you gonna yeah. piss on yourself. I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna go drain like my fucking in. bank account for this dude. No, we want what's on you. I don't got nothing on me. I don't do that. We know it's on you because we already know the promoter. He said he got fifty k. Mm -hmm. Type he did forty. I think forty fifty. I mean, no, but all in all, that this shit is ain't what nothing I'm new. All all in all, this is what I'm saying, right? That Philly, the East Coast, it, they don't really know about that yet. When they oh, see yeah. this interview, they gonna see that now. Is going to do fucking quadruple the numbers. You understand? Not this but shit. I feel not like shit a lot of not the shit on that interview, but this shit is going to do quadruple the numbers, and they really going to know. But they got YouTube like, yo, and this Philly, shit, right? Bro. No, they do. A couple people know about they it. They sitting around on YouTube about, just like us, right? You get what I'm saying? It's bro, unfortunately, bro, yo, 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 interview ain't going to do nothing, bro. I don't, I don't even know who you is. So you know, people just feeling themselves like, oh yeah, no, you may open up more eyes in your neighborhood or you know the inner uh the in crowd what, what you into out there in philly but for oh, the whole world and seeing this bro it's already gonna do enough numbers as it already it already did man you know what i'm saying we don't need your help I'm it's not that big he's there, local baby. they watching him now you understand what i'm trying to tell you bro people gonna pick up people's gonna pick up on it because they're watching him i'm on and they'll see so you totally believe that story uh what you yeah, have the only time not, ain't paid, you have knowledge paid. of it. I, I'm acknowledging the shit. Why wouldn't I believe the shit? Really? You see how real the shit 
just what? Like, you can read you a think he was out here not paying? Bro, you can read a nigga body language and tell how he carrying it. You heard? Really? I can look in your eyes and see what type of time you on. Like, I ain't, like, bro. I noticed Meeks responded to you, but he's not responding to Dean. The worst thing he could have did, he should have just stayed silent on my tip, right? Yeah, he should have. He taking this shit to the moon for me. Mm. He should have. He made he, don't he, he make it a phone ring even more. That's what I'm saying. Like he don't want to respond that's why to Dean. He, Dean know too much. Dean what he was leaning on. Dean was being kind of positive in the interview, though. You had to kind of like read between the lines to figure out what he was saying Dean, about. Dean, Dean is being positive, letting them know. See, I, I just I have another fuck. interview. You were out there. You were Adam, saying I just shit. don't give a fuck. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Chill don't pay the bills, bro. At all. Bars. Mm. Chill don't pay the bills. At all. Why you gonna buy Meek Mills Escalade? Yo, he said for the homies, uh, you know I'm gonna look out for y'all. He he said for the guys, I, I got y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a discount. I'm like, why are you, you selling cars and bargaining? Is it cars bulletproof? Now? Like you selling cars and bargaining a price on it, John? He said, no, for the for the for the guys, I'm gonna show y'all, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show y'all love on it's, the ticket. I mean, maybe it's just a car he's sitting around. He said he got six thousand miles. No, I never in my life saw him sell anything on the internet. Mm. I never Well, I do him. know this. When he went to jail, right? And I got the text in my phone. <clears throat> he had his team trying to sell all the cars. All of them. Mm. And I ain't know that. No, this is a fact. That's crazy. They called me. They sent me a whole list of the cars he was trying to sell. And mm. like, if you know anybody, we ain't got to tell nobody. They come through you and all that type of shit. So, mm. but yeah. I'm saying publicly, he publicly put that motherfucking. Uh, I, I don't think he's hurting for no money. Internet. You know, I just think he's selling the car. I mean, I don't know. It's just you know, that's the case. Rick Ross would have brought the motherfucker. Mm. Type shit. Yeah, just had they it. say Ross bought the uh crib to Atlanta. Really? Yeah. Oh, he sold that? Yeah, he bought the crib down there. That that was old. That was like that well, was well I will say this. <clears throat> we in a recession, everybody but a downsize. You don't need it. You ain't using it, you don't need it. We're Costco guys. No, you're a white boy. I'm talking to the I'm saying like you could be a Costco guy, you could just get like, you know, fifty gallons of mayonnaise at the same time. And no, yeah, money. but what I'm saying, if he ain't in Atlanta moving like that, it was probably one time he was already always down, which he was. Fuck it, why he need the house? Mm. Dump it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, so is he still signed to Ross or no? No, that joint over. He's yeah. independent now, right? Yeah. They 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 just did an album a joint album that joint did well like 35 the, the first week. Oh yeah, they did 30, the project. Yeah, yeah. Five thousand the first week. Yeah, that's bad work. <laughs> I feel like 35 is all right now. Yeah, anything bad work to this guy. The fuck? On a $5 million budget? I, I what want, are you doing there? I, I want to say this to you, Adam. I got to salute you, bro. Niggas be talking that money over bitches shit, bro. You the definition <laughs> of money over bitches, bro. We are you understand that? Because yeah. a nigga would have been crying in his fucking pillow <laughs> with his queen, huh? Yeah, and, and, a nigga yeah, would have been yeah. in this motherfucking room with, 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 with the cover over his head, crying. Nigga, nigga would have jumped in the shower. They get back sleeping in the same nigga room last week. Nigga would have jumped in the shower. <laughs> they ain't slept in the Ah, man. We done. We done. So this guy, Quilly, overbelieves Loose Cannon's story. You know what I'm saying? He can't wait to take it back to Philly and people, you know, whatever. I don't know what Quilly or Dean are trying to gain by smutting Meek Mill, but I don't think it's going to end up well. I, I think Meek Mill going to end up prevailing in the end. I mean, you know, he's kind of like a rap golden, he's kind of like a golden child. Like, no, I would call Drake the golden child, but Meek is kind of like the adopted golden child. Like, they love Meek in the hip hop industry. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what's next for Meek, Quilly, and Dean. Stay tuned. This is Rockstar Reactions reacting to Quilly vouchers that loose cannon extorted Meek Mill on No Jumper, the Adam Wax Show. Y'all know what it is. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, most hated, most opinionated, most underrated. Y'all know the rest. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, become a member. Also, follow Smut Free TV on Instagram. Hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know, we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cat. Stay tuned.